Hi, I'm Jessica Edgington from the PD Factory team and today I'm going to show you how to pack a Velocity. I'm using my Comp Velocity 75 with Full RDS. Alright, so I've already set my brakes and ran up my lines and now I'm going to attach the slider for the RDS. Okay, so the first thing before I attach the slider is to make sure that I've got it facing the right direction. I've got to make sure that the strings are going to be facing towards me when the canopy opens. So they have to be facing towards me now. And the lanyard connecting to the pilot chute has to be away from me. So I want these two ends closest to me. The tabs on the slider, and there's a little tongue that sticks off the end of the tab there. And we're going to put it through the slot on the end of the RDS ring. Fold it over, and there's three little loops that should line up, and you're just going to put the release cable, making sure it goes through all three of those loops, and then you're going to slide it into the cable sleeve. Moving on to the next corner, make sure there's no twists in the RDS ring, that you've got it lined up straight, and again you're going to take the, the tongue on the, on the slider and slide it through. Fold it over and then put the cable, the release cable through those three rings again, just like that. And then we're going to move over to the other side, grab the RDS ring on that slide, on that side, slide the tongue through there and then put the cable through the three loops again. corner. On all of these you should make sure that the cable is pulled all the way out as well. Make sure that you don't have any any loose line down here. So you've got it as far out as it'll go to make sure that the that it won't slip out during opening if you don't get it all the way. So then again just take that tongue off the tab right there, put it through the slot on the RDS ring and stick the cable through there. and then into the cable sleeve. Then we're going to make sure that we didn't do anything wrong. Everything's straight. You don't have any twists. Looks like a normal slider should look. And that's that. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've got the slider attached, the only difference here between a normal slider and an RDS is we've got the lanyard hanging off right here connecting to the bag and pilot chute. So we'll just get that out of the way so that we can continue on with the rest of the pack job. And I'm just going to flip the canopy over to one side and straighten out the nose, making sure I've got all the cells so I'll count them all at the same time. All right, so one, two, just bringing them over to my side to smooth them out. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Smooth a little bit of the air out of it. And it's really easy right here to see all of the A-lines, so I like to just kind of start separating them out right there to help make sure that the nose is nice and even. Shake out. And then just put the nose between my legs to hold on to it. So find the center cell, make sure everything's nice and straight again, and then I'm just going to separate the fabric between the line groups. So have the A lines right here, B lines right behind them, and I'm just going to stick my hand in there and flake that out. All this is pretty standard, just like a normal pack job. Drop the B lines down, and then I'm going to flake out the material between the B and C lines. Same thing. And then to the other side. Now I'm going to go ahead and quarter my slider. And when I quarter the back part on the comp below, there's some snaps right here to hook that in. 
So we'll just snap both of those between the slider and the center cell. Put it back between my legs, make sure nothing moved, and then I'm going to flake out the stabilizers. Just work my way down the, down the edge of the canopy. And then we've got snaps over here too. So right here on the stabilizer, I'm just going to fold that in and snap it onto the slider. Same thing on the other side. Fold it in. Snap it. Then everything's nice and neat. I like to double check, just make sure the slider's nice and in place where I want it. And now we're ready to lay it down. So grab a hold of the lines. I like to use my foot to grab the tail. Pull it up around the top of the lines. Hold on to everything. And then I just double check right here to make sure that the slider's nice and straight. Grab the whole nose and just kind of smooth it down so everything's nice and even. Then I like to use my leg to hold everything in place here so we can pull the tail around. Smooth everything out. Make sure that everything's nice and even right here. You've got the seams lining up and then just a couple rolls in the tail to keep everything in place. And you can also smooth out some of the air right here. That kind of helps to keep it neat. And then we'll lay it down, which is easy to do with a little canopy like this. Make sure all this is out of the way as well. All right, so just getting all the air out of it. I'm gonna grab underneath the canopy, not messing anything up and then just fold it back over my knees. So now I'm going to grab a hold of the grommets under my knees and just fold that back. Put my knees back on the canopy to hold everything. Now we're ready to put it in the bag, so I've got to get this lanyard out of the way. Just over the top right here. And I'm going to slide bag underneath, get one side in, the other side in. And hopefully everything's still straight and even. Okay, keep this thing out of the way. I like to pull it towards me stow the lines. And I'm just going to get the excess, which there shouldn't be too much, but make sure everything's nice and smooth up by the top of the canopy. And then after I do the first stow, I like to stow the lanyard next, so I'm just going to S-fold that making sure it's nice and even, so just so it won't get tangled up. And tuck it right in the edge of the bag there. Making sure the stoves are nice and even, same size for all of them. Just sit the bag on the other side of the rig.